I'm David Wong. Welcome to Qi Life Mastery, the Science of Qi. I'm very excited. I've been planning for this webinar for a long time. I prepared this presentation. It took me about three weeks to get this thing together. Um, basically, I've summed up what I've learned over the last 10 years into this presentation that's going to be about 60 minutes. So there's a lot of stuff. There's science, personal experience, um, ancient Chinese uh, traditions and methodologies, different modalities that I've experienced in my life. And um, I put them all into this presentation. So I have my heart and soul is into this. And a lot of uh, really cool things that I've learned in my life is in this presentation. So I'm sharing this with you today. Aren't you guys lucky? <laughs> all right. So I'm going to talk about the art of manifesting wellness and abundance. Who wants to have wellness in their life? Say I. Yes. Who wants to have abundance in their life? Say I. All right, good. So we all have favorite superheroes. Who's watched The Avengers recently? Yeah, did you guys like it? The final uh, chapter of that, that arc? Wasn't that awesome? The epic battles and all that, right? So who's your favorite superhero? Anybody? Favorite superhero? Batman. <laughs> the Hulk. The Hulk. Okay. Daredevil. Daredevil. All right. Any? All right. Superman. Superman. Okay. So we all have favorite superheroes as a kid, and because we always dream of having superpowers, right? We all want to be superhuman and fly and be strong and be fast and 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 do that. Mine was Dragon Ball. <laughs> Who watched Dragon Ball? Say I. <laughs> It's a few Asian people, right? <laughs> okay, and my, uh, my superhero was Goku, okay? And Goku, he can gather his chi energy and do a fireball like this, a blast attack. And um, that was my superhero. So many superheroes, you know, in comics, Western or Eastern, they can manipulate this force called chi. And they use it for all sorts of things, right? They use it for enhanced perception. They use it for uh, manipulating energy fields. They use it for protecting. They use it for attacking, right? Uh, and even for healing. So you probably think superpowers, that's only in the comics, that's only in the movies, right? They're not real. But are they? OK. So stay until the end of this uh, presentation, and you're going to get a free gift. So make sure you stay until the end. And you're gonna, it's going to be worth your while. So just a disclaimer, read that really quickly. You got 10 seconds. <laughs> OK, so superpowers in ancient history. Let's take a look at that. In ancient martial arts, these are some very famous generals and founders of martial arts styles uh, in ancient China. And who's, who watches kung fu movies, like really old school kung fu movies? Say I. OK, so you see them like the vibrating palm, right? They can just move big, break huge boulders with their, with their chi energy. They can. They can tell the future with their, with their hands, right? They can, um, what else can they do? Fly. Huh? They can fly, right? Crouching tiger, hidden dragon, they can leap on trees and they can hop on water like it was nothing. Okay, so how much of that is actually real and how much of that was, was made up? I've always wondered, like, all these Kung Fu movies, like, did people back then actually do that? Right, did they actually jump? on buildings? Did they actually fight with all these superpowers? And, and you know, I would like to believe that they did. And I think that um, over history, over time, we just lost the ability to do that. Why? Because we lost the training, and we probably just lost the knowledge of how to do that. But it's not just ancient Chinese Kung Fu, right? There's many other cultures where people had superpowers, right? And uh, they could do all these things that we think today is supernatural. So they were considered we, we, what we consider today to be superhuman, but perhaps they had knowledge, training, and access to qi that has been lost. So that's just ancient history, but let's talk about today. How about superpowers today? Who's heard of this guy, Master Zhou Tingjui? He is a Tai Chi, Qigong, and Kung Fu master. And if you watch his videos, he's able to light things on fire with his hands. All right? So nobody's figured out how he's done it. Um, but people have used heat sensor cameras and show that it's actually happening. So he would hold a towel, wet towel, in his hand, 
and in a few seconds, it's completely dry. He would hold uh, wet sand in his hand, and in a few seconds, it turns into ash. And he could light things on fire without touching it, just with the chi with the energy. Real or not, I don't know, but he's doing it, and, and the people with thermal cameras can show that it's happening, but nobody knows how he's doing it. Ice mastery, who's heard of Wim Hof? World record breaker multiple times for ice submersion uh, in zero degrees ice water, full body submersion for an hour, 53 minutes, and two seconds. What is considered, who, who's tried a cold shower for like five seconds <laughs> or 10 seconds? That's like, it's pretty tough to just stay in that cold shower, right? But he can do ice bath for two hours almost. He also ran a half marathon barefoot in ice and snow. He also climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in two days just wearing shorts. Two full days hiking wearing shorts. Is that superhuman or do you call that, what is that? Would you call that superhuman? I would say so. Okay, so, that, so that's today. He's alive now. And uh, he uses breathing techniques and he uses his intention in order to control his body so that it can withstand extreme cold. That's me doing the two minutes in ice bath. Okay, so I trained for about um, 100 days to get to the point where I can go into ice bath, zero degrees, just breathing, breathing slowly without going, oh, I'm so cold, right? Okay, so I did that. How about Bruce Lee? Who's heard of Bruce Lee? Everybody heard of him? Okay, he can do 1,500 push-ups with both hands, 400 push-ups with one hand, 200 push-ups on two fingers. Most people cannot even support themselves with two fingers, right? 100 push-ups on just one thumb. He could kick six times in one second. His signature move to skip kick, he can kick a 200-pound guy into the air into the sky, just like you see in this photo. Bruce Lee, he can punch nine times in one second. He can one inch punch a 75 kilogram guy five to six meters away. That's him breaking a board. That's me breaking a board, one inch punch, okay? So you all heard some of the music today. How did that make you feel? Make you happy, right? It's a happy song. Like, don't worry, be happy. So I chose those because I want to show you that music can change the way that we feel. Okay, we'll come back to this that in a second. So music, we're here at a music hall, and uh, we talk about martial arts, we talk about chi, we also talk about success. And you're probably wondering, what do, do, what do all those things have in common? So you may not want to be a superhero. You may not need to fly or to jump over buildings or to fight or break break boards with your hands, but we all want to, <laughs> you want to do that, okay? So you, we all want to have resilient health. We all want to have uh, manifesting our intentions. We want, all want to attract success, right? So I'm gonna, here gonna show you how you can do all those things with just one thing. The one thing that you need to do all those things that you want, to have health and to attract the success that you want. Okay, who would like that? Say aye. Yeah. Good. So who's David Wong? If you don't know me, I have 10 years of uh, meditation and Tai Chi, Qigong practice in martial arts. I was able to heal myself from a chronic illness that I've had for 12 years. Okay? I did it without any surgery, without any drugs whatsoever, because none of that worked for me. I tried everything. Okay? I'm also recovered from massive debt and illness and depression to build a seven-figure, multi-seven-figure multi business empire. Uh, I also work with world renowned scientists and humanitarian leaders around the globe, and also develop mind enhancement, mind enhancement technology that I'm going to share with you, reveal to you today. Very exciting, okay? So life wasn't always so great. I lost $300,000 in a really bad business deal. I trusted the wrong person. And from that, I got really depressed. And from that depression, I actually got physically sick. And that went on for a long time. And at my lowest point, I was working just 15 hours an hour, just as a cable guy, installing, you know, computer, LAN cables in some office buildings. That's all I did. 